This one is actually quite stubborn with its needles. I've had others that have been very much easier. Let's try this one. Oh yeah, that's what I'm used to. Just coming right off. You see why I put down the white. So you will want to remove your needles from the wood. Let's take a look at one of those needles. Remember how I showed you that, that the fresh ones are dark green and pliable? What happens when I try to bend one of these? Ah yeah, that's the difference. So these are brittle, but they're also shrunken. Their internal moisture is gone, so they are the right size now. I will reconstitute them with warm water before I do the stitching, and then they will become pliable again, but they won't have the internal moisture that's going to keep them swelled. They, they are shrunken, they are, they are dry and smaller. I'm going to, in order to get the cap off, so the next step is, see this little cap? That is going to be quite a little bump in a basket, so I want to get that off. And the trick for getting that off is reconstituting it with hot water. So I've got my needles off the wood and into a pan that isn't going to be upset if it gets hot. And I'm going to pour boiling water on them. Now, without burning my hands, those are going to sit for a half an hour before we go on to the next step. Okay, a half an hour has passed. It smells like pine needle soup in my house, and we are ready to go. The water won't be hot anymore, just a little bit warm. But you'll see that the caps on the top here have gotten very, very, uh, well, wet and you'll find out soon that they've also gone soft. So what you'll do is take your thumbnail and just kind of ease that off. This is the messy part, and that is a pine needle that has its cap removed. I will place it in another basket, and this is something that just is going to take some time. Oh, that one came quick. You will also find some uh, short ones. Those can just be discarded. That's what you're looking for. I have, I'm working on a towel because this is pretty messy and also I'm dripping all over the place. So that is, this is just something you can do while listening to a podcast or a movie. Just sit there and work through your pan, get those caps off and then in this other basket, we have the capless needles, and they are going to dry out again. And like I say, this, I'll be giving you this instruction a couple of weeks before you uh, are going to be doing the class. So these need to dry out again. You don't want to let them sit in water for two weeks because they will start to mold. Dry those out, and after that, we will be ready to do the stitching together.